I love math. Do you? Well, if you do, you should live by the math commandment that states, Thou shall do unto one side of the equation what thou doest to the other. Hey guys, let's go over the uh, chapter 2 test taken November 30th, uh, 2021. Match each correlation coefficient with the graph that best describes it. So the first thing I want to point out is make sure you understand is that if it has a negative, that means going this way, that's called a negative slope. Does that make sense? So, and then the number that runs closer to one or negative one, these are stronger. And then you might get to something like moderate, like a point seven, negative point seven, point seven. And then like a point three is like negative point three is weak. And then at zero, it's none, no correlation. So um, this one, pretty much just a straight line. This would be uh, R equals one. This one's um, close together. Um, so I'm gonna say that that one is uh, 0.89, 0.89. And this one looks like it has a negative slope pretty close together. And then this one barely has anything. So I would say this one was um, negative 0 0.09, pretty weak, close to one. And then the white one would be R equals 0 0.89. Um, uh, negative, I need a negative, negative 0.65. Okay, Bryson collects data on the depth of the river at various points and the velocity of those points. So I see depth, that's the x-axis. And then velocity is kind of like speed, so that'd be y. His data has a correlation of negative. So going down left to right, so this one looks negative. This is positive, positive. Um, and it's pretty close to a negative one. So this one looks like the right answer. Answer is A. Number three, a store manager records the total visitors and sales in dollars for 10 days and the data are shown in the scatter plot. What conclusion can the store manager make on the data? As sales, A, an increase in sales causes a decrease in visitors. So I see this and then I see decrease down. So as I'm going up on total sales, I also see um, number of visitors also going up. So I see a double up for here. An increase in visitors causes an increase in sales. I like this one. The X causes the Y. Uh, an increase in sales correlated with decrease in visitors. No. An increase in visitors is correlated with increased sales. So in this one, number three, I'm gonna say our answer is D. All right, question number four. For the following scatter plot, interpret the type of trend um, the data set will hold. It's pretty weak, um, but it looks like it's gonna be a positive trend. Number five, determine the correlation for the situation. Choose positive, negative, or no correlation. The number of people who watch a hit television show and number of oranges sold at a grocery store. I don't think they're related, so there is no correlation. <clears throat> number six, 
uh, baseball coach graphs some data and finds a line of best fit. The equation is y equals 0.32x. Let me go ahead and copy that down. <coughs> How many hits, which would be uh, y, uh, from a player who would bat at least 175 times? So bat is x. So x equals 175. <coughs> so let me take a picture of that. We're putting the calculator together. So 0.32 times 175 minus 20.51. 35.49 and we can expect a 35 hits okay which of the residual plots indicates that a linear regression would be appropriate <coughs> remember in residual plots um, we stated that a pattern is bad, don't use linear, and then we said if there was no pattern, that means it's good, use linear. Sharpen my pencil. Okay, so I'm trying to find one that is no pattern. And which one has no pattern? Because um, I want linear, that would be A. Number seven is A. Number eight, the linear regression equation for a data set is y equals 1.6 x minus 4.1. The actual value at x is, um, Point nine. What is the residual value at x equals 3? So residuals is the actual minus the predicted. Whoa, 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 whoa. Which is our y hat. So essentially I need to find this. So it's saying the actual value at 3 is 1.9. What is the residual? Well, the residual is using this formula with 3. y hat equals 1.6x minus 4.1. So if I put in here 3, I'm just going to do my side calculator here, 1.6 times 3 minus 4.1, I'm going to get y hat to be 0.7. So this becomes 0.7. Now it already told me that the actual is 0.9. So if I just subtract those, then my residual is 0.2 is my answer, which is B. B is our answer. Number nine, the table shows Savannah's salary for different years. Which linear equation best represents the line of best fit for the data if X represents the number of years since 2000? Okay, so Let's go ahead and put this into my calculator. I'm just going to take a quick picture so I have them. All right, for this problem, I'm going to go stat, edit. And it did say years since 2000. So we did in our notes where basically you do something like 2000 minus 2000, you'll get zero. It is zero years from the year 2000. 2001, 2001 minus 2000 is one. So that's one year away from the year 2000. That's one year since 2000. And that's, so 
there the one represents 2001, 2002, 2003. Then I went ahead and put her salaries and to calculate her linear regression, I just press stat, calc, then number five, linreg, press enter. A is in front of X, which is your slope, so that would be 1750, and your Y intercept would be 40,500, which would be choice C. So again, 2,000 years since. This will give you zero. That would be one, two, whoops, three. Which pair represents a causation relationship? <clears throat> a person's age and his or her shoe size. So I think of my little baby OB. He's only six months old, but he's going to keep growing and his shoe size will keep growing. But there'll be eventually he'll get to an age like my age where his feet really aren't growing, but his age isn't increasing. The number of ice cream cone, cones sold and the amount of sunscreen so, sold. <coughs> um, that one looks more like an inverted relationship. The temperature at a football game. And the number of hot drinks sold. Okay, let's think about this. So if it's a cold game, like zero degrees. Um, can that cause a hot drink sold at an outdoor football game? I think so. So C is our answer. And D, the number of people attending the ball game and the length of the ball game. Well, the game doesn't isn't dependent on how many people are there. So our choice C would be your answer. Hope these corrections were helpful for you guys. We'll see you later. Bye. Y equals MX plus B with Mr. Ng, we're making history. Pythagoras, Euclid, and Gauss learned the math and you'll become the boss.